Welcome back, everybody, to the Pittsburgh Pirates franchise here on MLB The Show 20. As today, season number four is officially in the books, and it is time for some postseason baseball. The Pirates finished the regular season with a record of 103 and 59, which is good enough for the top seed in the National League. We've been in a very close uh, division fight with the Brewers all season long, and we were able to clinch it in the last episode. And the crazy thing is, the Brewers, who I think won 102 games, they lost the wild card game to the Colorado Rockies, who are our opponent here in the NLDS. Here's a look at the playoff bracket for those who uh, may forget from the last episode. I have noticed that a lot of our players' ratings are lower for whatever reason. Everybody seems to be angry, like Josh Bell is a 95-ish. I don't know why it says he's a 90. I checked his morale. It says he's angry, but there's nothing like that is specifically making him angry. So I really don't know why uh, all these players are so pissed off. But, oh well. It is what it is. Anyway, the team we're facing in the NLDS is, as I mentioned, the Colorado Rockies. And they are a very interesting team, if you will. Their lineup actually doesn't scare me too much. The only star on this lineup is Nolan Arenado, coming off another great season. But they don't have any true stars on this offense outside of Arenado. They do have some speedsters, Edgar De La Cruz, Delano DeShields, Jonathan Yar. And there are some good players on this team, like VR, like David Dole, Ryan McMahon. But there's nobody who really stands out other than Arenado. The pitching rotation is a little bit weird, though, because four of their five starters are lefties. And although our lineup has a lot of switch hitters, I think we're a little bit better against righties. So that isn't necessarily ideal. Their only righty is John Gray, who... We will likely face off against uh, for Game 3, but Games 1 and 2, we have lefties, and then if we go to a Game 4 or 5, it's going to be against lefties. So, that's not ideal, but you know what? you got to work given the circumstance, and that's what this team is going to do today. Let's get the National League Divisional Series underway as the Pittsburgh Pirates open up their 2023 playoff campaign against the Colorado Rockies. Last season, Pittsburgh was one win away from advancing to the World Series. Unfortunately, they lost in the NLCS in seven games to the Arizona Diamondbacks, and they are hoping that this season they can have a change of fortune and go a little bit farther. Here's a look at both lineups for today's game. One to nine regular starters for the Pirates, as uh, it'll be Jamison Tyone on the hill for Pittsburgh as we take a beautiful look at PNC Park, getting ready for another year of postseason baseball. Technically, this is the third straight year for Pirates from the playoffs, but, I mean, they only made the wild card game in Season 2, which obviously was a loss, so technically this is the second season of, like, actual playoffs. Tyon had a very solid season, 3.01 ERA, one whip exactly, 209 strikeouts in around 212 innings. Here's Delino DeShields up with one out. He's just a window shopper. Say with me, kids! Because he's just looking. Going down on the 96 mile an hour fastball. Next up is Nolan Arenado, who is shopping gap deep in a left center field. And that looks like it'll drop for extra bases. A two out double for Nolan Arenado. And Colorado now is a runner in scoring position. This is their opportunity to start this playoff series with some force. Ryan McMahon now up. Weekly hits this one. Tyone makes the play. And that will end the inning. Almost looks like McMahon beat out the throw, but he is unsuccessful. As we go to the bottom of the first, it'll be John Means on the mound for Colorado. He had an okay year. Not great, but certainly not bad by any means. Leading off the inning is the rookie Pablo Cairo in his first postseason at bat. He will get an infield single. Good play by the shortstop Edgar De La Cruz, who was deflecting it with his body, but to no avail so that'll bring up Wander Franco his first career postseason at bat is not as successful he will fly out to right so there would be one out now for Josh Bell the best hitter on this baseball team coming off a 344 regular season which I believe that batting average led the mark in the National League and his first postseason at bat is a pretty good one that'll be an RBI double Cairo scores from first and the Pittsburgh Pirates are on the board. They now lead it one to nothing. Good start for Pittsburgh. Josh Bell is pretty fired up about it. 
First and second now for Ernio Cruz. He's just a window shopper because he's just looking. And then with two outs, that would bring up the catcher, Francisco Mejia. One, two pitch, and he will strike it as well, this time on the low changeup. So a good ending to the inning for John Means and the Rockies. They allowed one, but I suppose it could have been worse. Top of the second now, Jonathan Villar up of plate with two outs. He will fly this one out to right, and Carlson almost bobbles it. That would end the top of the second. Jamison Tyone looking good as we go to the bottom of the frame. Benny Lang goes down looking. Benny Lang obviously will be getting punished with the uh, mainly lefties starting for Colorado. I think it probably hurts him more than anybody in this lineup, so expect Lane to probably not be great in this postseason series. Here's Brian Reynolds now ripping a base hit, so Pittsburgh is a runner on first and two outs. Going to try to extend their lead as Pablo Cairo gets this one into uh, right center field. Reynolds advances to third, and Pittsburgh now has runners on the corners and two outs with an opportunity to strike. That would bring up Wander Franco, 1-2 pitch, and he will fly it out to right, nearly the exact same place that his first fly out of the day went. And once again, Pittsburgh leaves a pair of runners on, but they still lead it 1-0 through 2. Let's advance to the top of the third inning now. It'll be the catcher, Dom Nunez, leading things off, and this one is crushed into right center field, and it will go off the wall. Nunez with a quick double. And the Rockies already themselves a runner in scoring position. An opportunity here to try to get into this game. John Means now on the bunt. Benny Lane decides to go to third. Then changes his mind. Tries to get Means out at first. And he is unsuccessful. So the Rockies now have runners on the corners and nobody out. That will bring up De La Cruz. Who will ground into the double play. Runner does score. So it does not appear Benny Lane's bad defensive play will come back to haunt the Pirates. Nonetheless, Nunez scores, and this game is now tied up at one. Following batter, Delano DeShields up, full count pitch. And this one is hit nicely in a right center field. DeShields has some wheels, so expect him to be maybe thinking three, and he will stay at two. Good throw out and right by Carlson. But once again, Colorado is a runner in scoring position. A speedy runner at that for Nolan Arenado. Full count pitch, and this one is ripped into center, and it'll drop for a hit. Arenado rounding first, headed for second. That'll be an RBI double. And the Colorado Rockies now lead it 2-1. to one. Very good third inning so far for Colorado. They're going to keep the train going, or at least attempt to, as David Dahl will line out to short. Franco makes the play. So the Rockies put up two and now lead it 2-1, to one, going into the bottom of the third inning. Runner out here for Dylan Carlson. Pitch from Means, and that'll be a strikeout. Carlson was swinging in for the fences there. Probably took a hack at that change up a little bit too early as we had now advanced to a fourth. Jonathan Villar up at the plate, full count pitch, and that one will go down the line and fair. Villar rounding first, headed to second, and that'll be a double. Another speedy runner in scoring position for Colorado. This is a grand opportunity for them to potentially score some more runs. Nunez now up at the plate. He's going to go down looking. Huge out for Tyon and crew as John Means is now up at the plate. Hits this one into right and Dylan Carlson drops it. I think Carlson misplaced his glove and it went off his forearm. That'll be an RBI double for John Means as VR scores and the Rockies will take a 3-1 lead. Not every day is the pitcher for one driving in runs, but he does there. Delino DeShields will go down looking. That'll end the inning, and that'll end Jamison Tyone's day. If this was a normal regular season game, he'd probably still be in. But since this is the postseason, you manage your team differently. One out here for Brian Reynolds. This one is going to be hit into left field for a single. Reynolds is now two for two as Pittsburgh tries to make this game a little bit closer. Brian Hayes now coming in as a pinch hitter. Let's see if he can try to capitalize and... Make this game a little bit closer, and that's exactly what he does! Cabrian Hayes with a two-run blast in her left, and the Pittsburgh Pirates will tie it at three. Huge home run for Cabrian Hayes. Not the guy you would expect to step up in this situation, but he does exactly that. It's been a roller coaster start to his major league career, but I think this has to be the highest point of it so far. 439 feet, that ball, we knew it was gone once it hit his bat, and Pittsburgh will tie it up.
But they're not done yet. Pablo Cairo is now 3-for-3 three three with three singles in his postseason debut. Can't really complain with that. As the manager's going to talk to John Means. Means starting to struggle here in the bottom of the fourth. Wander Franco gets a beautiful curveball up in the zone that he likes. And he's going to ground into a double play. Not a phenomenal start in his postseason debut for Wander Franco. But still, a successful inning for Pittsburgh as Cabrian Hayes' two-run shot ties it up. On to the fifth, the long reliever Julio Urias will enter. Obviously, it's been a rocky season for Urias, but hopefully he can try to rebound in the postseason. Arenado going to lead things off, currently 2-for-2 two two with a pair of doubles. This time, he's going to strike out. Big play for Urias. David Dahl now up, lefty on lefty crime, and he perfectly beats the shift. Normally, that'd probably be a single, but due to the shift, that'll be a double for David Dahl. And Colorado is a runner in scoring position as they try to potentially take the lead. That'll bring up Nomar Mazzara. Single into center. Dole rounding third, headed to the plate. Reynolds' throw is off the mark. And the Rockies now lead this game 4-3. Colorado not having the lead was very short-lived. Let's see if they can try to extend their lead. As Jonathan VR now hits a single into right. And the Rockies now have two runners on with two outs as they try to extend their lead. That'll bring up the catcher, Dom Nunez. And he's going to draw a walk. And the bases are now juiced. What would Colorado do? They're going to keep John Means in the game. And he strikes out. I really don't know why they kept him in there rather than putting in a pinch hitter. We'll see if that one comes back to bite. But the Rockies do regain the lead nonetheless as it is now 4-3. to three. Bottom five now. Josh Bell up at the plate. And he's going to go down looking. The Rockies have really done a good job so far today. Or I guess Means specifically of really placing these balls where Pittsburgh's batters think they are not strikes, and obviously they end up being strikes, as that one will be an error on De La Cruz. O'Neill Cruz advances to first safely, and the Rockies are going to make a pitching change after that. Interesting timing as Ryan Castellani will enter the game. It's not like that was Mean's fault that Cruz got on base, but oh well. I guess they can do what they want as Francisco Mejia is up with a full count pitch. He's going to hit a single into right. Cruz thought about going home, but will retreat to third. Probably the smart call. Salvador runners on the corners. Two outs here for Benny Lang, and he will go down looking on the four-seam fastball as Castellani gets out of the jam, and the score will remain 4-3 to three through 5. Let's move to the sixth now. Delino DeShield's going to go down swinging. Very nice pitch from Julio Urias. After Nolan Arenado would reach base, that would bring up McMahon, who's going to go down on the outside curveball. That would end Julio Urias' day. Two innings, one earned run. He didn't pitch too well, but he also didn't pitch too poorly, and he ended the game strong as we go to the bottom of the sixth. Very nice play by Edgar De La Cruz. He's going to get Reynolds out, and then Pablo Cairo going to go down looking at the slider. Good inning from Castellani as we move to the seventh now. Rizel Iglesias is in for Pittsburgh. He was probably the Pirates' best reliever this year. And let's see if he can translate that here to the postseason as he absolutely fools David Dahl on the slider. That was a phenomenal pitch by Iglesias. Jonathan VR now up full count pitch. He's going to fly this one out to center. Reynolds makes the catch. Good one 2 three inning from Iglesias. As we move to the bottom of the seventh, Colorado still leads it 4-3. to three. Wander Franco going to lead it off, and he will hit this one nicely in a right center field. And the center fielder misses it. So this one will roll all the way to the wall. I think Franco's thinking about going home, and he will go back to third. He thought about it, but is going to stay at third. That'll be a no-out triple. And Pittsburgh now is the potential tie-in run 90 feet away from home. One out now. Franco still on third is Dylan Carlson. Going to ground this one out to second. The R makes the play. However, Wonder Franco will score safely and Pittsburgh will tie it up at four apiece. Huge hitting from Carlson even though he barely hit it. <laughs> Let's move to the top of the eighth inning now. Very nice play by O'Neill Cruz to get the out. Two shutout innings for Rysel Iglesias. That's how his day would end. As we move to the bottom of the eighth, Ben Bowden 
is now in here for Colorado. Going to try to keep this tied at four. Got some lefty on lefty crime here for Benny Lane. One, two pitch, and he's going to go down looking on the slider as Pittsburgh is trying to be as disciplined as possible, but these Rockies pitchers continue to place these baseballs literally perfectly in the strike zone. There's the pinch hitter, Andrew McCutcheon, with a single and a right. So Pirates now have two runners on and two outs. This is a prom opportunity to take the lead here, as it'll be the rookie, Pablo Cairo. He's three for four today, and we can make that three for five as he will fly out to left, ending the eighth inning. And this score remains tied at four as we advance now to the ninth. Wonder Suero is in for Pittsburgh. I don't know why it says he has 31 saves because he's not the closer, but oh well. Nolan Arenado up with one out. He's going to go down on the cutter. Very nice pitch for Wander Suero. David Dahl now up with a runner on first, and he's going to ground this one out to Bell. Bell will tag first, ending the top of the inning. No one scores, and now the Pirates have a chance to walk it off here in the bottom of the ninth. They got a walk-off win last year in Game 1 of the NLDS against the Padres, so we'll, we'll see if they can do the same. Ben Bowden is still in the game as the Rockies pitcher. Here's Wander Franco. Full count pitch, no out. Very nice defensive play by Edgar De La Cruz for the out. One gone now for Josh Bell. Full count again, and he's going fishing. Didn't catch anything with that bait. Now the Pirates are down to their final out, or else we'll go to extra innings. And it's Carlson who will swing at a jammer. Probably should not have gone for that one. That pitch was way inside. I don't think Carlson expected it to curve inside. And that'll do it for nine. And this game is not over. Pirates and Rockies, game one in the National League Division Series, is tied at four as we go to the 10th. Nomar Mazzara will strike out there. Two gone now for Dom Nunez. He strikes out as well. Good inning from Wander Suero. Two shut out from him. And now Pittsburgh has another opportunity to get a potential walk-off. Score remains tied at four. Alex Colome is in for Colorado. He pitched in 110 games this year and was quite good. 2.9 ERA whip at around 1.4. O'Neill Cruz gonna lead the inning off and he goes down looking on the high cutter. If only Cruz wasn't 6-7, then that probably would have been a walk. Now we got Francisco Mejia up at the plate. Full count pitch and he will look at the low and outside Cutter, that'll be a walk, and now the Pirates have a winning run on first base. Benny Lane is up, still hitless today, and that won't change. Lane will ground into a fielder's choice as he would be safe at first, but it still won't count as a base hit. So now two outs. Lane is on first for Brian Reynolds. He hit the walk-off last year in game one against the Padres. And he will not hit the walk-off here. He grounds out to first. McMahon makes the play. And now we are going to an 11th inning. The Fresh Prince of Pittsburgh, Will Smith, is into the game once again. He's not the closer. I don't know why it says he has 32 saves because that's literally not true. It's been a rocky year for Smith. He does strike out to Lino DeShields. 1-2-3 inning for Pittsburgh. And now they have another opportunity to walk it off. Maybe third time's the charm. One out here for Cairo, and he gets fooled by the cutter. So it looks like we're probably going 12, unless Wander Franco has something to say about it. 2-2 two -two pitch, and Franco grounds this one past the second baseman for a base hit. Runner on, maybe this is the opportunity the Pittsburgh is waiting for to finally drive in the game-winning run. Kelvin Herrera will check in for the Rockies ending Colomay's day as that'll bring Josh Bell up to the plate. 3-1 pitch. Bell hits this one pretty high and deep in the left. If a track at the wall, and it's good! Two-run, walk-off home run for Josh Bell. And the Pirates win Game 1 of the National League Division Series. I think it's only appropriate that the best hitter on this team, Josh Bell, is the one who hits the walk-off to start the postseason run. That one, I don't think it was as certain if it was going to be a home run or not, but it does, it does creep over the fence. And Pittsburgh now leads the NLDS 1 to nothing. But we're not quite done. Game 2 will be coming shortly today after we uh, review this box score and also take another look 
at this beautiful walk-off dinner by Josh Bell as he's going oppo poppo there, taking it into left, and that one would go into the seats to win it. Certainly not as deep as Brian Hayes' home run, but I'm sure Josh Bell is certainly more appreciated than ever right now by these Pirates fans, which says a lot because Bell has been outstanding all four seasons in this series. Four hits, ten runs, one error for Colorado. They had uh, quite a few extra base hits, but no home runs, no triples, and uh, three players drove in runs as John Means gets the no decision. The loss goes to Alex Colome since he allowed the go-ahead run. Meanwhile, for Pittsburgh, six runs, 13 hits. The offense was up and down. I mean, the Rockies didn't score after the fifth inning, and Pittsburgh, from innings four to 10, only scored once, not including the two runs in the fourth inning. So I guess innings five to 10, Pittsburgh only scored once. Jamison Tyone pitched the first four. He was not great, but the bullpen did their thing. Julio Urias played very well, and then the final five innings, zero hits for Colorado, one base runner. That is quite impressive. So shout out to Rizel Iglesias, Wander Suero, and Will Smith for doing their things as we now advance to game two of the NLDS. Pirates coming off a walk-off here in game one, and they're going to try to take advantage of this momentum and increase the lead of the series. Not necessarily a must-win game for Colorado, but if they lose this game, they are in a lot of trouble. So a win here would certainly be huge. Will Smith was the one who got the win in game one, by the way, as you can see. Santiago Osuna warming up. He is getting the start tonight. We'll talk about him shortly. Once again, regular starters in this one for the Pirates. They are mixing up the lineup card a little bit, but the same regular eight. Meanwhile, for Colorado, I think that's the exact same lineup as they had in Game 1. So I guess that's interesting. As here is the rookie, Santiago Osuna, in his first postseason start, coming off a very solid regular season. In 20 starts, he went 11-3, 3.03 ERA, 1.13 whip. The strikeouts are low, but other than that, he had an outstanding rookie season. His first postseason batter would be Edgar De La Cruz, and it would not be a particularly good one for Osuna as Brian Reynolds totally misses it there that will be a triple for Edgar De La Cruz he probably could have gone home if he wanted to but nonetheless Colorado starts the game off with a big triple Delino DeShields will ground this one uh, right in front of Benny Ling DeShields is safe doesn't really matter too much since for runner scores anyway but I guess an added bonus would be him on first First and second now, no outs for Ryan McMahon. Going to ground this one to O'Neill Cruz, who tags second, and will throw McMahon out at first. Big outs for the Pirates as David Dahl is now to the plate. 2-2 pitch, and this one is hit pretty nicely into left. Cairo will make the play, and Colorado does score one. However, Pittsburgh is lucky that they didn't go ahead and score even more because Colorado had a very good opportunity to blow this game wide open very early. The lefty, Tanner Tully, will be getting the start in this one for the Rockies. Runner on first here for Josh Bell. Bell hit the walk off in game one, and he's going to start game two off with a bang. Going up Popo into right. That'll be an RBI double. The runner scores safely from first. That is O'Neill Cruz, and Pittsburgh will tie the game up at one. Both lineups looking good early. Here in this one, we might have ourselves a good old-fashioned hitter's duel. Benny Lane now up to the plate, full count pitch, and he will ground this one to short. Benny Lane still does not have a hit yet this postseason, as that one would be a grounder. Tied at one through one. <laughs> on to the second. Nomar Mazzara going to lead it off. Mazzara hits this one deep into right center, and that one is gone. The former Texas Ranger with his first postseason home run this season. And the Rockies will immediately gain the lead right back as it is now 2-1. to one. Rockies trying to add some more. They would be unsuccessful as De La Cruz grounds out to short. O'Neill Cruz will tag second. But so far, it's been all about offense. Francisco Mejia now up. He's going to ground into the 3-6-3. Double play. The Rockies infield is more chemistry than a science project. That'll do it through two. Colorado leads it two to one. 
Let's go to the bottom of the third inning now. O'Neill Cruz up at the plate. Weakly hits this one. However, Cruz is fast enough to get to first. And the Pirates are lucky to have a runner on. Let's see if they can capitalize. As Josh Bellows up of a plate already has an RBI today. And he's going to swing and miss at the high fastball ending the inning. Tanner Tully looking pretty good for the most part as we advance to the fourth now. David Dahl is up and this one is smacked. In a right field, that one to go over the fence. And Dahl hits his first postseason home run of the year. Santiago Osuna has not looked too great in his first playoff game, unfortunately. But the kid is only 20, so still got to give him time. Here's Tanner Tully going to go for the punt, the bunt. And the Pirates are able to get the runner out at second. However, there are now a pair of runners in, uh, on the corners. And at two outs for Edgar De La Cruz. I don't know why Benny Lane did not go for that ball. Maybe he wouldn't have gotten to it, but still he should have at least tried. That'll be an RBI single for Edgar De La Cruz. And the Rockies now lead 4-1. Delino DeShields now up. He hits a single into center. Tully headed home. Brian Reynolds the throw, and it is in time. Tully is gunned down. Look at Brian Reynolds, part-time ball player, full-time sniper. But the Rockies do add two. And Santiago Osuna's day would end after that. Four innings, four earned runs. Not really what you wanted to see in his playoff debut. Bottom four now. Dylan Carlson up of a plate. And he's going to open the inning off with a double. So Pittsburgh already has a runner in scoring position. They have some damage control to do now after that big fourth inning by Colorado. Benny Lane going to try to drive in the run here as he does finally get a base hit. Carlson will stay at third. And Pittsburgh now has runners on the corners with nobody out. That would lead to Wander Franco coming up to the plate, and he will ground into a double play. However, the runner, Dylan Carlson, does score, and Pittsburgh will make this game a little bit closer as it is now 4-2. Not a great at bat from Franco, but, I mean, he did drive in a run, so I guess it's not that bad. Manuel Classe will enter the game here for Pittsburgh, coming off a career season. Had his lowest ERA of his four-year career so far as he strikes out Ryan McMahon on the 100-mile-an-hour cutter. And the Pirates will end the inning here with a very nice play out and left by Pablo Cairo, stealing the baseball from a fan in foul territory. But I don't think Cairo really regrets it. Speaking of Cairo, here he is in the bottom of the fifth inning. Going to ground this one to second, and that would end the fifth. Good inning from Tanner Tully as Colorado leads this one by two. Michael Givens will enter the game here in the sixth inning, coming off a solid season for the Pirates. Pretty much average, not great, not bad either. As Edgar De La Cruz strikes out, good inning from Givens, and the score will remain 4-2 as we advance to the bottom of the sixth. Josh Bell is up at the plate, hasn't really done anything since that RBI double. And he gets that one over the head of Tully for a single. And the Pirates now have a runner on base as they try to make this game a little bit closer. Benny Ling is now up. 2-1 pitch and two outs for him. And Ling gets this one perfectly into left center field. Bell is hustling his horse. And he's going to head home. The throw from De La Cruz is not in time. And Josh Bell, who's not known for his speed, will score from first. Benny Lane is cooking up something there at second. Pittsburgh cuts the lead in half. They are now only down by one. Here's Wander Franco. Can he tie it? The answer is going to be no. Hits it nicely in the left, but not nicely enough as David Dahl makes the play. But this game is a little bit closer as it is now 4-3. to three. On to the top of the seventh. Delano DeShields striking out. Good start to the inning for Michael Givens. But that would soon change as Ryan McMahon gets a pitch he likes. And he's going to let Givens know. Two-run shot into right. And the damage control the Pirates have done so far was pretty much for nothing now. As McMahon hits a two-run shot. And now Pittsburgh is down by three. David Dahl now up. And he places this one perfectly into left. Once again beating the shift. And that'll be a double for Dahl. And Colorado is not done yet. They're going to try to extend this lead. Givens would be taken out of the game after that. Pedro Baez would enter. Not a great season for Baez, who was known for his consistency with the Dodgers. Not play all that well here for the Pirates. 
he will walk Dom Nunez, and the bases are juiced with two outs. Can Colorado drive some runners in? No, they do not. I do not know why they let Tanner Tully hit there. That just baffles me. This is a prime situation where you can take him out, and they had him hit with two outs and the bases loaded. I am very confused by that. As Francisco Mejia hits the single. So now there's a runner on first and one out. Going back to the Tanner Tully thing, it's not even like he's been that great today. I mean, he's pitched fine, but I, I, I really don't get that. We'll see if that bites him in the butt. As Tully is not having a great inning here, Cairo now gets a single. So now there are two on and two out, and the Rockies will finally make the pitching change as Alex Colome will enter. He got the loss in Game 1. Let's see if he can try to avenge that here in Game 2. 2-2 two -two pitch here for O'Neill Cruz, and this one is going to be grounded to second. That was a very low fastball. He probably shouldn't have swung at it, and O'Neill Cruz would be out at first. Rockies two innings away from tying this series up at 1. Let's see if they can do it. Rysel Iglesias will enter here in the 8th inning. He pitched very well in Game 1. Let's see if he can keep it up here in Game 2. De La Cruz up at the plate. 1-1 one, one pitch. This one is going to be grounded fair for probably an extra base hit as this one goes off of the foul area. De La Cruz is barely safe at 2nd. Good throw by Cairo. It's now runner on 2nd and 2 outs here for McMahon who grounds this one past the glove of Iglesias. Franco does make the play. And that will end the inning. Score remains 6-3 to three as we advance to the bottom of the 8th inning. Pittsburgh is going to have to start their rally right about now as James Pazos is in for Colorado. Josh Bell opened the inning off with a strikeout looking on a beautiful sinker by Pazos as we advance to the ninth now. Score remains 6-3. to three. Iglesias gets David Dahl to go down looking. Excellent pitch there. Two away now for Nunez as this one is hit weakly into left. Cairo under it, and he makes the catch. Two shutout innings once again from Rizal Iglesias as we go to the bottom of the ninth. Pittsburgh needs three to tie, four to win. It's not going to be easy, but I guess it's possible. The closer, Scott Oberg, is in for Colorado. He's pitched in one postseason game this season. That was the wild card game against Milwaukee. Here is Brian Reynolds with one out. Going to hit a single into center. This is the start of a rally, maybe. Hopefully. Francisco Mejia now up. 1-2 pitch, and he will ground this one to McMahon. Throws it to short. De La Cruz over to Oberg as he gets the sliding Mejia out, and the Colorado Rockies will win it by a final score of 6-3. to three. It looks like them keeping Tanner Tully in for way too long will not come back to bite them and Colorado is going to make it a series as they tie it up at one and now it's pretty much just a best of three with two games being in Colorado that's not ideal for Pittsburgh six runs 15 hits for the Rockies their offense played really well Tanner Tully with the win the bullpen shut the door only allowing one hit in two and a third innings Pittsburgh three runs 10 hits the offense wasn't terrible but it also wasn't good. Only three extra base hits. Bell, Carlson, and Lane with doubles. Bell and Lane each with RBIs. Santiago Osuna gets the loss. He did not pitch well in his first postseason game. Four innings, four earned runs, zero strikeouts. Not what you want to see there as we look at the rest of the postseason bracket. Washington and San Diego is tied at one. Oakland and Tampa Bay is tied at one. And the Cleveland Indians lead the Yankees two to nothing. Hope everybody enjoyed. Make sure to like button and subscribe if you are new. And as always, have a good one. Stay safe. I'm out. Peace.